Hello everyone, this is Onita, and in this video we're going to take a look at the assassination spec for Mr. Pandaria. Uh, the latest, this is updated to the latest version, which came out the first week of June. Okay, so we're going to start off in our primary specialization screen here, uh, which gives us a choice between the three abilities we have. There hasn't been a lot of change in either, any of our specialization cores. So the four primary abilities that you're seeing here are things that you should be used to already in Cataclysm. Okay, so this is your assassination core. Uh, Mutilate deals 200% weapon damage per weapon plus X. It no longer has a boost for dagger equip, so it really doesn't matter what kind of weapon you have, the damage output will be the same. And Venom deals instant damage proportional to your combo points and gives a 15% chance to cause an additional poisoning for one second plus one second per combo point. Vendetta now deals 30% damage over 20 seconds and allows you to see enemies that are camouflaged or stealth. And Venomous Wounds uh, rupture or garrot every time they deal damage you have a 75% chance to deal X amount of damage plus restore 10 energy. If a player, if your opponent dies with a rupture on them you receive an energy refund proportional to the amount of time remaining on the rupture duration. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and learn Assassination. If you want to change this, all you have to do is visit the Rogue Trainer. Now, you see there in the chat screen, we've learned a bunch of new abilities. These will appear in the Rogue tab of your spell book. All right, so let's move back to page one. As you can see, we have in Venom, and we also have Dispatch. Dispatch is a new move that has been added to replace Backstab as our standard attack for this spec. Uh, it's a strike that deals 350% uh, weapon damage plus X um, if the target is below 35% health. It also awards a combo point. There is a buff called Blindsight, which has a 30% chance to apply off a successful mutilate. If that buff applies, you can use Dispatch without the 35% health requirement. And here we have Mutilate, which is 200% weapon damage plus X for each weapon. And awards two combo points. Nothing new on this page. And here we see uh, Vendetta as well as our assassination passive abilities. Uh, so Blindsight, this is the buff I was talking about, 30% chance to leave you in an advantageous position, enabling a single use of dispatch regardless of the enemy target's health. Okay, cut to the chase, your Venom refreshes your slice and dice duration to its 5 point combo maximum. Improved poisons increases the application chance of deadly poison and wound poison by 20%. Potent poisons increases the damage done by your poisons by 57%. Seal Fate, when you critically strike with a single target attack that generates combo points, you gain an additional combo point on your target. And Venomous Wounds, each time you rupture a garrot deals damage to an enemy that you have poisoned, you have a 75% chance to deal an excellent amount of damage and restore 10 energy. If the opponent dies while rupture is active, you gain energy back. Okay, so those are our basic changes to the assassination spec. Uh, here, pretty soon, I'm going to start questing with all three of these specs. And I'll give updates in the future if there are any significant changes to how it works then. Uh, if you found this video helpful or educational, please like and subscribe. Thank you.